Breaking news. This just in today, February 2nd, 1848, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo was signed. We went to Mexico to get it done and came back in success. This treaty added another 525,000 square miles to our land. It also ended our war with Mexico. Right now, we will do a recap for all of those who weren't in tune with what was happening in the war. The Mexican War began in the spring of 1846. President James K. Polk tried provoking Mexico to strike first so he would be able to start a war. America and Mexico were in a disagreement over what the Texas-Mexico border was. James K. Polk claimed the border was the Rio Grande. John Slidell was sent to Mexico to suggest a deal of $30 million for the rights of California and New Mexico in return for Mexico's acceptance of the Rio Grande as the border. They also offered to pay for the debt they owed to American citizens. But as we know, Mexico refused and said they wanted to reclaim Texas, leaving our president furious. General Zachary Taylor was ordered to march soldiers across the Mexican border. On April 25, 1846, Mexican soldiers attacked Taylor's force. General Taylor said, hostilities may now be considered as commenced. President James K. Polk then responded saying, invaded our territory and shed American blood upon the American soil. Congress passed a declaration of war against Mexico. This is what began the Mexican-American War. The war consisted of three parts that President James K. Polk and General Taylor worked together to create. These are the three parts. Part one, American troops had forced Mexicans out of the argued border and took over the land of Texas. Part two, the troops would seize New Mexico and California. Part three, American troops would capture Mexico City capital of Mexico. By early 1847, just over a year ago, General Zachary Taylor completed part one of the three-part plan. He captured the towns of Matamoros, Monterey, and Buena Vista from the Mexicans. Stephen Watts Kearney led troops on the Santa Fe Trail to capture the capital of New Mexico. William Becknell, a traveler on this route, wrote this in his journal. Adventurers have frequently been forced to drink the blood of their mules to allay their thirst. The task was completed August 18, 1846, without having to fire a shot. The plan was now two-thirds of the way done. General Winfield Scott was appointed to capture Mexico City. March 1847, the group was near the Mexican port of Veracruz. It took them three weeks to capture. After a 300-mile journey, they were in Mexico City. By mid-September 1847, the Americans had won the battle and took over Mexico City. This brings us back to today with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo.